The First World War, which lasted from 1914 to 1918, was a global conflict that involved the major powers of the time. The war was fought on multiple fronts, and the industrialized nations of the world mobilized their economies to support their respective war efforts. This article will focus on the Allied war economy during World War I, which was crucial to the eventual Allied victory. World War I was a war of unprecedented scale and intensity that involved most of the major powers of the world. The war affected the global economy, and the industrialized nations of the world mobilized their economies to support their respective war efforts. The Allied powers, which included Great Britain, France, Russia, and later the United States, were able to harness their economic power to sustain their war efforts and eventually emerge victorious. The Allied war economy during World War I was characterized by extensive government intervention in the economy, the mobilization of industry, and the prioritization of war-related production. The war led to significant economic changes in the Allied countries, including the growth of government intervention in the economy, the expansion of industrial production, and the emergence of new industries, government intervention in the economy. The Allied war effort required extensive government intervention in the economy to ensure that the necessary resources were allocated to the war effort. Governments passed laws and regulations to control prices, regulate production, and ensure that industries produce goods necessary for the war effort. In the United Kingdom, the government established the Ministry of Munitions in 1915 to coordinate the production of war-related goods. The ministry was responsible for allocating resources, controlling prices, and ensuring that industries produce goods that were necessary for the war effort. The government also introduced price controls to prevent inflation and ensure that essential goods were available to civilians. In the United States, the government established the War Industries Board in 1917 to coordinate the production of war-related goods. The WIB was responsible for allocating resources, regulating prices, and ensuring that industries produce goods that were necessary for the war effort. The government also introduced price controls to prevent inflation and ensure that essential goods were available to civilians. The mobilization of industry. The Allied war effort required the mobilization of industry to produce war-related goods. Industries were required to switch their production from civilian goods to war-related goods. The production of weapons, ammunition, and other war-related goods increased significantly during the war. In the United Kingdom, the government used its control over industry to ensure that the necessary resources were allocated to the war effort. The government took control of many industries, including coal mines, railways, and shipyards. The government also introduced conscription to ensure that there were enough workers to produce war-related goods. In the United States, the government used its control over industry to ensure that the necessary resources were allocated to the war effort. The government took control of many industries, including coal mines, railways, and shipyards. The government also introduced conscription to ensure that there were enough workers to produce war-related goods. The prioritization of war-related production. The Allied war effort required the prioritization of war-related production to ensure that the necessary resources were allocated to the war effort. Industries were required to produce goods that were necessary for the war effort, and the production of non-essential goods was discouraged. In the United Kingdom, the government prioritized the production of war-related goods, and industries that produced non-essential goods were discouraged. The government also introduced rationing to ensure that essential goods were available to civilians. In the United States, the government prioritized the production of war-related goods, and industries that produce non-essential goods were discouraged. The government also introduced rationing to ensure that essential goods were available to civilians.